Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the slope and y-intercept from slope-intercept form. We will go through some examples together here, and then I'll give you some practice problems that you can try on your own. Now remember, slope-intercept form is a way to write the equation of a line, so we can write and graph equations of lines using this form. Slope-intercept form is right here. We have y equals mx plus b. Although this may look confusing at first, once we understand what the letters we are looking at represent, this will become much more clear. We're going to start by focusing on two of the letters, m and b. m is going to be the slope of the line. Remember, slope tells us how steep a line is, so how much a line changes vertically, up and down, as it moves horizontally, side to side. Then B is going to be the y-intercept. The y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis. So M is the slope, and B is the y-intercept. And that's why we call this slope-intercept form. This gives us all the information we need to graph a line. And then the x and y are variables representing the x and y coordinates of any point on the line. So when writing in slope-intercept form, we can leave those as just x and y. Let's jump into number one, where we have y equals 4x plus 6. So what's our slope and y-intercept here? Well, our slope is next to the x, so 4. And then as far as the y-intercept, we have plus 6 here. So the y-intercept is 6, a positive 6. And that's our slope and y-intercept. Let's move on to number two, where we have negative three-fifths x minus 10. Our slope is negative three-fifths. And then for our y-intercept, we don't have plus b here. We don't have plus our y-intercept. Well, we're actually working with a negative y-intercept here. So we have subtraction. Our y-intercept is negative 10. Now this equation has been simplified, so we don't have plus a negative 10 here, meaning this can be written as y equals negative 3 fifths x plus negative 10. And that does make that negative 10 a little more clear, but equations will a lot of times be simplified to showing that as just subtraction. So we don't have that double sign of addition and then the negative. Subtracting 10 gives us the same thing as adding negative 10. So either of these equations will work here. Just something to be aware of when working with negatives. Let's move on to number three, where we have y equals 2x. Our slope here is going to be 2. But what about the y-intercept? We only have 2x here. Well, let me rewrite this as y equals 2x plus 0. Our y-intercept is 0 here. Adding zero doesn't change the value of anything here. It's not changing the value of that side of the equation. So this can just be written as y equals 2x. So whenever you see something like this, the y-intercept is zero. We have plus zero. And feel free to rewrite the equation with plus zero to make that y-intercept clear. Moving on to number four, we have y equals x minus 3. Now for our slope here, we just have an x. Remember, whenever we just have an x, there is an implied 1 in front. So our slope is 1 here. 
we can think of this as y equals 1x minus 3. And then our y-intercept is negative 3. Now for this equation, it can be helpful to rewrite this as y equals 1x, so writing in that 1, plus negative 3. So again, we can write that 1 in front of the x and then add negative 3 in order to make our slope and y-intercept a little more clear for us here. Either equation will work though, so use what works best for you. Moving on to number 5, we have y equals negative x plus 1 fourth. So going off of number 4, we can think of this as y equals negative 1x plus 1 fourth. So our slope is negative 1, and then the y-intercept is 1 fourth. Lastly, let's move on to number 6, where we have y equals 7. Let me rewrite this one to make the slope and y-intercept a little easier to find. So we can also write this one as y equals 0x plus 7. And that's a positive 7, so plus 7. Now we can see that our slope is 0 and our y-intercept is 7. So slope of 0 and y-intercept of 7. Since we have 0x, which is just 0, we can write our slope-intercept form without it and write this as just y equals 7. Remember, a slope of 0 means we have a horizontal line. So this is just a horizontal line that goes through 7 on the y-axis. So now that we've gone through some example problems together, it's time for you to try some practice problems on your own. So have paper and a pencil ready. Here are your practice problems. Identify the slope and y-intercept from each equation. So write m equals whatever the slope is and b equals whatever the y-intercept is. I'll give you three minutes and then we will go over the answers. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time or jump ahead to the answers whenever you are ready. Go ahead and start.
Okay, so that was three minutes. Let's go over the answers. So here are our answers. For number one, the slope is negative two. The y-intercept is eight. For number two, the slope is one. The y-intercept is 15. For number three, the slope is four-fifths, and the y-intercept is zero. Moving on to number four, the slope is one-half, and the y-intercept is negative three. For number five, the slope is zero, and the y-intercept is four. And then lastly, for number six, the slope is negative one, and the y-intercept is negative seven. So there you have it. There's how to find the slope and y-intercept from slope-intercept form. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.